And now it's nearly 30 years ago that I developed and taught the world's very first off-leash puppy socialization and training class. Um, and, and we called them serious puppy training. Um, now, when I look at puppy classes being taught all over the world, I, I think they've kind of drifted a little in, in what was intended. Um, puppy classes were intended uh, for puppies less than 18 weeks of age. Um, that's when they suddenly, very quickly, within a couple of weeks, turn into adolescence and you could have dog-dog problems in class. But if they're under 18 weeks of age, no, they're going to get along and they're going to get along very, very quickly. The classes were taught entirely off-leash, so that the puppy would be able to meet all of the people in the room. I mean, if we have 11 other puppies in the room, there's going to be about 20-odd people. So we get lots of socialization with people and lots of socialization with dogs, which is important because this is how the puppies develop bite inhibition. All of the obedience was done off-leash, um, and so then a leash didn't become a crutch. You didn't have to, later on in life, phase out the leash in training. You know, training wasn't a two-step process. Train them on leash, pretty easy, you know, tug up, push down. But, oh dear, how do we now get them to respond when we let them off leash? That we train them off leash from the outset. And they learn lure reward training to come, to sit, to lie down. Um, what I find now in a lot of puppy classes is, well, most of the time, the owner is sitting with their puppy on leash, you know, listening to the trainer talk about theory. No, 55 minutes of the hour, the puppy should be off leash and training and playing and socializing or being handled by people. That if you change a puppy class so you have a play session and a training time, well, the puppy just thinks, hmm, play, Training, play, tra whoa, difficult decision. I think I'd rather play, please. And then we end up with these problems after class that now the puppy ignores the owner. It's so important that the puppy should be trained within the play session. Lots of little training interludes, come here, sit, good dog, go play. So now the play session becomes the reward for the training. One of the most important things we should do in puppy classes too is to make sure the dogs get on with other dogs. And, and this is not being done. There are classes taught where they will only allow little dogs in, which to me is crazy because you're teaching the little dog to be a big fish in a little pond. And when he goes out to the big wide world and meets a big dog, number one, he's going to freak out. And number two, he's going to probably act in a way that's inappropriate. And the big dog, if unsocialized, may come after him. It's so important that the classes have dogs of all sizes, all breeds, and they all learn to get along. The big dogs learn to be gentle with little dogs, and the little dogs learn not to be scared of big dogs. Because if they are scared and they go outside, I mean, they're, they're basically attack bait. That's the number one reason why dogs get attacked, because they acted inappropriately or they acted like they were scared. So any signs of fearfulness in class or bullying in class, it's got to be resolved that day. There's no point in putting a bully in an X-pen, putting him in prison. I mean, that's not training, that's time out from training. Instead, the, we have to follow him around and give him a running commentary on how he's doing. There's a good boy, good dog, gently, gently, off, off, hey, 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 excuse me, hello, off we go again, good boy, there's a good boy, good boy, steady, hey, 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 off. And we gotta let him know, that's right, that's right. It takes a lot of energy, but it only takes about three minutes. And then that bully now has learned, oh, you mean you like it when I'm gentle? You just don't like it when I jump on dogs and splat them? We have to resolve the problems of bullying and fearfulness the first time it shows up in class. Otherwise, you know what? Next week, the problems are going to be more difficult and much more resistant to change. When you have a puppy, you have to realize the puppy class he goes to is going to be one, one of the biggest factors in his life which, which makes or breaks his entire personality for the rest of his life. And so you'd be really smart if you check out puppy classes beforehand. Go and visit, sit in, make sure that the classes are taught off leash the entire time. It's all breeds of dogs, um, the dogs are trained off leash, and the real Difficult problems such as bullying and fearfulness are dealt with right away.